Hi and welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. In this first episode, I just want to take a few minutes to look at the, the trends around mobile and why mobile might be important for you or your business. I'm then going to briefly look at some of the challenges that are very unique to mobile application development and then we'll look at some of the technology choices you have when you're dealing with those challenges. So the first question you might be asking is, well, why mobile? Why is mobile important to me and, and my business and my enterprise? And that's a good question. Over the last few decades, with the maturity of the internet, we've seen IT evolve from mainframe and client-server dominated environments to a much more open web-based environment. But changes haven't stopped there, with the consumerization of mobile devices and the dramatic increase in capabilities and adoption of smartphones and tablets Mobility has now become a critical part of the IT environment, the new normal if you like. People want to do their job on the move, just like they socialise on the move. And mobility doesn't stop with people holding devices, we're already seeing a, mo a move into a much more connected world, sensors and cars around your home and other devices that allow machines as well as users to interact with enterprise IT. Now regardless of where you get your data from and, and even how you might splice and you might dice the statistics, there is a very clear message. Whether you look at the sheer number of smartphones and tablets that are now in the marketplace, or if you look at the traffic that's coming from mobile devices, or the adoption of operating systems, it's very clear that mobile is dominating the market. Now, assuming you're convinced by the case to embrace mobile, is there any advice Oracle can give you on some of the challenges on adopting and developing mobile applications for your enterprise? So, isn't it just the same as regular development that you've been doing, but deployed on a mobile device? Well, the answer, no, it's not. They're, the mobile is a very fast-moving market and there are very different and competing platforms and devices which are all releasing very regular updates and your applications have to keep pace with those. Then there's budget. Suddenly you're now expected to deliver to mobile channels but you've probably not been given budget to cover that new development as well. You then have the question of developers. Can you find and hire a load of new Android and iOS developers and remember, these are skills that are still quite scarce. Or are you going to reskill your existing staff? And this ties back to whether you have budget to do that. There's cross-platform support. You can't just choose to develop only for Android or only iOS. Doing so immediately takes you out of 50% of the market. So you need to plan and target 100% of the market. And by their very nature, mobile devices bring a whole new set of headaches for your enterprise security. Now, misplacing a mobile device happens to most of us, but how can you ensure that you lock down offline data as well as prevent access to your back-end systems as well? And how can you wipe a device if it gets stolen or mislaid or your employee leaves the company? And then there's back-end integration. In all expectation, you'll be planning on reusing many of the current assets that you have. However, those applications and assets maybe haven't been developed with mobile in mind. So how do you integrate with those back-end systems from mobile devices as well as shape and manage the data for mobile consumption? Now, some of the challenges might seem overwhelming and it might make you question why you should adopt mobile solutions in the first place when you've already got a number of web applications you could maybe be using. And surely these applications can be accessed via smartphones and tablets that have fully featured browsers. Now, of course, yes, you can. The upside is that web applications are ready to go and no additional development time is required to access those in mobile devices. However, the downside is that web applications are not scaled or optimized to the constrained screen size or the network bandwidth of mobile. 
The website on a mobile device might be too small to see, it might load slowly, have excessive scrolling and generally be cumbersome to use. And of course they're not optimised to make use of on-device features such as the camera or GPS. Another option is to keep the general web UI but adjust how many images are loaded and redesign the page to fit a smaller screen. This should make it faster for pages to load and easier for end users to navigate around the application. And while this approach solves one issue, which is screen size, it doesn't solve all the issues with wanting to run applications on mobile devices. And you can add to all of those challenges the fact that the website was designed for a mouse, but you don't use a mouse on a mobile device. Instead, you have a whole different set of input gestures based on touch. You pinch, you swipe, you can even shake the device. Now, of course, typing on a smartphone or a tablet is always going to be slower than a traditional keyboard, making things like mass data entry much more difficult for a mobile user. But on the other hand, mobile devices offer different options for inputting information versus a PC. You could take a photo of an expense receipt and attach it rather than manually entering. Or you could use something like speech to text for inputting information as well. You may also want to design your application so that the data they present to the user is location specific. So a salesman may only be interested in a customer who are within a 40 mile radius of their current location rather than seeing a list of all possible customers. And another consideration is that mobile networks might not be as fast or as reliable as your corporate LAN and your your users might be paying for every kilobyte of data you send so you might want to shape the data that you send to your mobile consumers. So what are the technology options you have for developing mobile applications? Well broadly speaking there are three options. There's the mobile web application and you can very easily access web apps from mobile devices via a browser. And this is probably the simplest option at first glance and it's very portable but as you've already seen you have to design so that the web app adjusts for the various form factors and you're not really fully exploiting the power and the capabilities of the mobile device. At the other end of the spectrum you have native applications. These are applications written in the specific platform language such as Xcode for Apple iOS devices and Android SDK for Android. These apps are deployed and run on the actual device and this is the most optimized solution and it can exploit the power of the device with direct access to all the APIs and features of the device. However you have an issue with reuse, code that you write for iOS isn't going to run on your Android dev devices without a complete rewrite. So your choice is to only support one platform and half your market or you're going to have to write native apps uh, in at least two versions to support both iOS and Android. The third option is that of a hybrid which is a mix of the two previous technologies taking the best of both worlds. Here you deploy a native application on the device but use cross-platform web technologies such as HTML5 and JavaScript embedded within the application on the device. And this is a very popular approach as it gives you the power of a native app yet you have a very common set of technologies across all platforms. And this really addresses many of the challenges that we've seen earlier in this video. So in this episode we've simply set the scene to the importance of mobile and also to recognize some of the, the very unique challenges that we have around mobile development. So please keep watching this channel to see more of Oracle Mobile Application Framework, the architecture, the technologies behind it and how you build MAF applications. Thank you very much for watching.